Hi you guys, my name is Guru Shakia and welcome to my beautiful channel. Today I am coming at you with another video about rape and about, this is basically um, episode 2 of dealing with rape and basically it's just my, di my video diary of what I'm dealing with and how I'm handling my healing. I feel like making these videos and expressing how I feel will help me through the healing process. And I don't know if anyone watching this cares or is going through anything similar, but maybe even one person can hear this and it'll help them or they'll benefit from it. Or maybe you just want to know my story. Whatever the case may be, I'm going to document it today. But today is basically one of those days where I'm not doing so good. Um, I actually started off fine, but it's one of those things where... Um, I start feeling like disgusting inside basically um, I start getting feelings of like the men who rape me basically and I start feeling like it's happening all over again basically um, ever since I got raped when I was a teenager coming out of high school um Lately, I just get these flashbacks a lot lately. I guess people can call it PTSD. And um, a lot what happens lately is I get these feelings around sex that I feel very guilty about. Or I feel shame, shameful, or I just feel very disturbed or disgusted. Um, at times, men can be a real turnoff because of this, because of what happened. Um, I don't even look at my family the same way. Um, it's just like I feel very, I don't know, it's, I feel very hurt and lost and vulnerable and, um, like someone has beat me down or beat me up all the time. Sometimes I feel like I'm being beat up every day, if that makes sense. I guess this is the PTSD feeling, um, but I feel like I'm being beat up every day and I feel like, um, constantly fighting fighting something or someone to like off me or um just feelings of despair and disgust and feeling like my voice was stolen um i'm trying to explain this feeling it's so hard to put in words i feel like i, I can paint a better picture but in words it's very hard um but i do feel like uh what are the words that come up when I think of, I think of, I don't know, just a, like a bunch of hor horrible things that I can't even really like express. But these are one of the worst days um, where I don't feel, it's like I know I'm worthy because I'm changing my thought patterns. But uh, the the pieces of these men are still inside me, if that makes sense. And they, it's like they're part of me now, whether I like it or not. And it's something that I have to learn to live with. Um, the Since I went to therapy one day, <laughs> I haven't gone back. I think my next day is this weekend. Or if it wasn't last weekend, it's this weekend. And my guide, I mean, my therapist has been trying to get me back to therapy, but I haven't really responded. Because if you guys haven't seen, I recently just took a trip on a whim to Miami and maybe it could have been part of just wanting to get away from where this happened. But I was basically called to come back to my hometown because I feel like I need closure or I feel like I haven't gotten through all the healing that I need to. Or I've been feeling the urge to even write letters to the schools, to the high school that I went to and then the college that it happened at. Um... But yeah, so I'm considering doing that, and I'm really procrastinating because I don't want to have to sit and write out the details and go through that process. But I do feel like I should because it would probably be a really like good healing process. I'm wondering if I'm going to go back to therapy. I know I should probably. Um, they had prescribed me anxiety medication that I stopped taking on the third day because it made me feel very drowsy. Um, so I can't really say if it helped or not, but, um, for the last few days since I went on my vacation, I was doing so good though. Um, I didn't have any like relapse of PTSD for a minute until 
I met a guy that made me feel very uncomfortable. Um, but other than that, I always feel like, I don't know, like rape. Uh, like sometimes I just get these dis- disturbed feeling just that, that I carry with me on a daily basis um, around rape or like even childhood. Like I feel sometimes I feel like something happened in childhood that I can't really recall. Maybe like molestation or something, but it's it's a lot of things that I carry that I can't really express in words. That's very disturbing, and it comes off. Um, and it's like some days I just can't ignore that feeling, and I wish it can just go away or that I can just erase it. But I feel like uh, I probably just have to find a healthy outlet, basically. And so I'm gonna go try something creative when I get the time and money to do so. But yeah, that is my update so far. Um, So I stopped taking the medicine. I don't know if I'm going to take it again or not. But I am really having a hard time. Like, since that that trauma has happened, I have a hard time speaking up for myself. um, Asking for what I want. I just started talking to strangers more and trying to be, like, more outgoing. Um, but I still have a problem with owning myself, owning my voice, standing up for what my, my, you know, my truth is. And my sacral chakra sometimes is like, it's like a love hate relationship with sex or sacral, your, my sacral chakra energy. Um, and owning my femininity, it's like I want to, but then something keeps like, it's like a in and out of love with my <laughs> sexual energy basically. But, since we last had this conversation, I do feel like I've gained a lot of self-love from going to Miami by myself. Something about that experience was so healing and the people I met and the person that I met in particular, um, I can't pronounce his name because he was from Argentina, <laughs> but he was like a Ricky healer and very positive person. He opened my eyes to like realize that you don't have to carry all this weight on you. Um, if you don't want to, you can free your mind at any time you want to. So a lot of a lot of when he said that in that moment, I released a lot of baggage in my energy. But it's like it's still there nonetheless, but it's not as strong and dark. <laughs> but I was very grateful to meet this person. And maybe he'll see this video one day or maybe we'll meet one day or reach out to me. But um, yeah, so that's what's happening so far of dealing with. Great, and I hope this helps someone. But yeah, peace.